Hello, I'm Wendy Zika, and this presentation will cover how to learn by example with SAS Enterprise Minor Templates. Here are the topics I will be discussing over the next few minutes. First, I'll explain what exactly a template is. Then I will show the GitHub repository where you can access these templates and the supporting documentation for them. I will walk through the process from start to finish to show you how to download the templates from GitHub, import them into your SAS Enterprise Minor project, and then run and view the results. Finally, I will briefly show a couple of sites that might be of interest from the SAS Support Communities website. So what is a template? A template is an example SAS Enterprise Minor process flow diagram that is saved as an XML file. This XML file can easily be imported into your SAS Enterprise Minor project, and since the templates that we are sharing all use sample data that are available within Enterprise Minor, you can run and view the results of these flows. We created these templates to help you learn by example about certain data mining topics that you might not be familiar with, from standard predictive modeling, to text mining, to association discovery. Along with these templates, we provide PDFs that walk you through the various nodes used in the flow and their results. Now let's look at the website github.com slash software which has all of the GitHub repositories or repos that SAS employees have created. In addition to the DM flow repo that we'll be looking at in a moment, I just want to point out these three enlightened repos from my colleague Patrick Hall. Please check these out to find example code for various machine learning applications, integrating SAS with R or Python code, and running a deep neural network. Now we will go into the DM flow repository where you see several folders as well as a readme file with instructions. Each one of these seven folders corresponds to a specific data mining topic, association analysis, clustering, credit scoring, and so on. Let's look inside one of these folders. If you scroll down, you can see there are two example flows for clustering and exactly what the flows look like one for clustering, then exploring the clusters with the segment profile node, and one for using clusters in a regression model. For each flow, there is a corresponding XML file, the template representing the flow, and a PDF file to guide you through the flow and results. So let's go through the process of downloading these files and then using them in Enterprise Miner. For those of you who have never used GitHub, it could not be any easier. You don't need to create a GitHub account or anything. You just click on this green clone or download button and select download zip. You can then unzip the file somewhere that Enterprise Miner can access on your file system. Now let's go into Enterprise Miner. You can either create a new project or open an existing project and note that you don't need to have any data sources defined or diagrams open. Then select file, import diagram from XML and simply browse to the location where you unzip the files from the GitHub repo and choose the XML file you want. And there you go, there is the process flow diagram. As I mentioned, the flow is using sample data that are also available to you under Help Generate Sample Data Sources. The final step is to run the flow, so go to the node at the end of the flow and select Run. Remember that PDF I mentioned? You can look at that PDF to see what the nodes in the flow are doing. When the flow is finished running, you can view the results of the various nodes. You can try tweaking properties to see how that changes the results, or you can use your own data in the flow. The last topic I want to cover is the SAS Community website. There is a data mining community for users of SAS Enterprise Miner and SAS Factory Miner, or for SAS programmers running data mining or machine learning algorithms. You can post a question here or look to see if your question has already been posted and answered. From this site, you can also go to the SAS Communities Library for data mining topics. Here you will find tips, many from SAS employees, that give helpful hints about how to use the software or that provide example code. 
The reason I mention these sites is that we posted several tips on these templates there. An introductory tip about the GitHub repo and a tip on each of the template topics. Let's take a really quick look at one. You can see it gives a little background, shows the flow from the template or templates, and provides the link to the repo so you can immediately download the files. So this is a good place to start with these templates. Hope you find these templates helpful for getting started with various data mining topics in SAS Enterprise Miner, and thank you for your time and attention.